Morning! If you like tractors, cattle, and all things farming, uh, you come to the right place. One. Um, but also press like and subscribe because it really helps grow our channel. We're going to get feeding some cows anyway, and it's a little bit windy. I forgot my hat. I think I need a haircut. Morning! Morning! <laughs> So the day's getting started, Dad's just jumped on the TM. Andy's just coming out of the path. We're a bit of a, didn't know anybody were doing there, I think. We'll get him let into the pen. Right, we'll get Andy let in here. up to the bales to scoop them up and then we'll cut the bands off. Boy Andy? Morning. You right? Yeah. He's got his diamond fertilizer on the uh, hat on today. Oh, today. Maybe they'll sell us um, fertilizer at half price Andy would you reckon? It's a bit of advertising. Yeah 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 yeah. Hasn't in the world. It's come down a lot though, do you reckon? Yeah. And the but wheat to uh, wheat's dropped to like below is it below 200 pound a ton now something like that okay. so yeah might not be uh, any good at all really for the arable farmers out there that's how it seems to go in it yeah we get shafted by world prices all the time and he's blowing the straw in here and on me a bit, of, a bit too much wind this morning really making the job difficult Be fed. Be nice in there. Dad just putting some meal in now. That's all green some in now with the MX bucket. We'll straw these up in a minute. So I picked up a round bale of hay now. I'm gonna put it in this trough here. If we can see, Bushka. Already trying to get a bit of it. Not yet. Let me un let me get it in the trough and let's unwrap it, eh? Let's do that. There we go. That's all sorted for them. Keep them happy. It's coffee time. We've got a drain bunged up, so I'm putting water down it now. And Andy's rodding it from the other side. Yeah, I think Andy's got it running now, so. Just have a look, see how it's getting on. It's usually my job, this. Andy's got it. Andy's got it out there. You at? I think it's running around. Yeah, it, it was lifting up above, and now the water level's right down at the bottom. Halt time. So we're just getting cattle out now. To go. Some big ones in here. So me and Andy are just getting some up. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, 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 oi. Come on, get up. Get up. Go on, pretties. Come on. Sit, feeding themselves straight up the race. Which is what we like to see. And then into the crush, but for some reason the back doors are shut. I think it's a win it's uh, playing havoc with it all today. Come on. We'll go and push him up. Come on, fella. That's it. And it'll automatically shut. Come on. That's it behind the next one to stop you coming up. That feature really makes it easy. It means we haven't got to have somebody on the crush all the time when you're pushing up. Saves you that extra man. Easy peasy. Me and Andy now are looking for one specific one. <sighs> Taking some finding though. So I've had my dinner. We did find those ones that we needed. So um, when cattle go over 30 months, a lot of our suppliers um, either don't want them because can't um, process them over 30 months or um, you get deducted on the price so we needed to find them before they went over so we can go that's what I meant by we were looking for one um, right anyway 
Andy's just on with a mix, so we'll just go and check out what he's up to. Uh, 6210 is rumbling away, and Andy's coming across the yard with some of that wannabe pulp in the bucket, ready to tip in. So he's lifting it up. And Andy will get this tipped in. A nice blue skies behind us. Sorry about the wind noise. And aka Mr. Delicate. He's getting it out now. So we need to measure it in, that's why Andy's just not tipping the full bucket straight in. We need to just get the right weight in. And by the looks of it, we didn't have enough in the bucket, so we probably have to go and get a bit more now. Were you accurate with your dispensation? I need a bit more. Oh, Andy! Hey! got the bread going in now and then we've just got the Trafford Gold to put in the job should be a good one and he's just putting a bit of Trafford Gold in look how mucky these windows get on this tractor it's all the barley dust a bit of moisture a bit of barley dust sticks to everything it's like glue so we've just put the molasses in and he's just putting a bag of minerals in and the rest of the barley will get tipped into the mixer so I've just jumped on the 6215. I actually remember what number it is then. And um, yeah, we'll uh, go and put a trailer on, I think, so that we, if we get a bit of time, we'll take some muck out while Andy's finishing that mix. Flash Ash is in one of these, I think, at the minute. Very, very similar. Doing some power harrowing for peas. That's what he's up, with, up to at the minute. So I just hooked up the trailer and fetched it down here. So I'm on some nice clean ground to take the stand off. Because if we leave this on, and with the wheels being quite low on this tractor, the stand can catch. And that's what's happened in the past. Look here, somebody's left it on. So we always take that off so it doesn't catch anything. That's it, it's off. Then it goes on its own little hanger here. Take that off and we'll lift it up. It's quite heavy, so I'm gonna need two hands. That's it. Stored away nice and safely. Next, we will put the pipes in. This is a single acting pipe. So this pushes the trailer up in the air and then oil flows back down the same pipe to lower it, just on gravity, the weight of the trailer. This here is the brake coupling. So we'll put that on in a second. And then we've got two more pipes, they are double acting for the rams at the back door so these guys here so you see they've got two pipes that means you can force it open and you can force it closed um, there's no gravity involved it pulls it shut so forget these two pipes here because these are for the hydraulic top link i put one in the green one there so that means lifting up and down will be on the green lever and i'll put these two blue ones in two blue ones these two pipes in the blue ones and then that'll be andy's back door on the blue lever then we move around to the brake coupling and we push that on two hands required there we go that's on that's not coming off these guys aren't coming out just need the lights in now and jobs are good in. lights into there right need two hands for that as well so we're just doing a bit of mucking out now. The cows seem to enjoy, they always want to be in the way anyway. They'll all come outside to see what's happening. Just tipped in Andy's trailer. Not so easy one-handed. But we can do it, I'm sure. We've got it, we've got it. There you go. So Andy's getting set off with that now. Getting out of the way, and then we can do a bit more. So this is not the best time to be doing the job that I'm gonna be doing now. Because it's much better done when it's dry. 
but I've got a bit of time to kill while Andy gets back so we'll fill some of the potholes in um, so we've got a bit of smoother driving hopefully I don't know how long it'll last but you know gotta keep driving so there's a few bits done up there I know I've missed a bit there and these hopefully be a bit better so I'm following Andy now we've got the muck out of there and we're just going to get some out of um, some of the gateways because they're getting a bit tricky to open some of them so we'll just top that load up and he can get on his way it's just started raining here though I know what it's been like for everybody else uh, around the country yeah, I'll see if Andy can get this gate open I made that gate welded it together probably 15 or 18 years ago my first little blasher at welding and it has never broken like every other gate on the farm seems to have broken or needed re-welding or something but I put a lot of weld on that gate scaffolding poles it's a beast but it does need a wheel to um, to be able to open it the muck that we're taking out today will get spread on the land and grow the food for the cows that have produced the muck so it's going to be going to be quite amazing so we use a lot of muck when we're growing maize to try and cut down on um, artificial fertiliser just to make the job cheaper basically uh, not because we're trying to be organic or anything like that because we're not uh, we need to wait like seven years I think or something to be organic and we're not going to do that um, but using manure just simply makes sense cheapens the fertiliser bill so I'm just going to have a bit of a tidy up now around the Weybridge um, so we don't want muck going underneath it and then affecting the weights so um, yeah we'll get uh, we'll get this out chuck it in the bucket and the uh, job should be a good one so I've just been cleaning the muck off the way bridge as well and look who's here Isaac you waving What's this? Dicer. No, what's this here? Yeah. Tractor. Tractor. Yes, and that's a dinosaur, is it? Let's have a look then. Yeah. Wow, wee. What a cool dinosaur. Is it a T Rex? No. Oh, it's not. Okay. I mean, it is a T Rex. <laughs> well done. Why do cows try and get the hair? Well, ask Andy, he'll know. Andy soon to be doing um, farm farm tours for children. <laughs> Andy's daycare. Yeah? yeah, they're trying to get. We're going to feed them the hay in a minute, aren't we? Yeah. No, I don't think they'll want to eat that bit. Mucky. Looks a bit mucky, doesn't it? We'll get some fresh, nice stuff, eh? Okay. So me and Isaac are just watching Andy get off now on the big tractor. Yeah. Wow! And Ben's going to start feeding up. Why are we going back inside? Yeah? you got muck on your face, mate. So I've just took Isaac in. Come on, lad. That's it, way. Come on. Come on. Um, and I'm just going to give Ben a hand to feed up now. Uh, really, is a privilege to be able to have uh, to have Isaac here. It's nice, yeah, nice to be able to spend a bit more time with him and teach him about tractors. He now knows that that's a JCB and that the John Deere's a John Deere's. So we'll see if he remembers that next week. This guy's eating my overalls. How you mean? Hey. Yes, you're lovely. I do, it's a good job I need to clean them, isn't it? Eh? So Ben's just been feeding the path here. And look at this. This is what we like to see. Everything up and eating. Especially in the new cattle pens. Like, over at this side, those at the back, it doesn't really matter because they're on feed all the time. They just walk up when they want to. Whereas these guys here, 
they're all new so they will just be eating the meal when it comes to them and we're just giving them a little bit of it so it's really good to see everyone up and eating right so it's time for mixed inventions where we raise where we raise a little bit of money for yorkshire air ambulance up here um it's a happy birthday to diana burton and that's up from your boyfriend and also a happy uh, birthday to martin salt he's 55 uh, and that's love from Julie. So thank you very much for donations to Yorkshire Air Ambulance. 4,348, I think, is the total at the minute. She's absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. Well done, guys. Andy's backing stuff in now. Ben's eating American sweets. Yeah, I think they're my least favourite. Like salt and caramel, Peanut butter. Andy's doing his little light show here, look. It's like he's indicating. He has the, the left hand lights on. Yeah, it's like a kid in a sweet shop, isn't it? Right? Bit of mix tipping off going on now. So that's everything away in the shed. What are you talking about now, Andy? I'm Night bad. Rider. <laughs> Uh, I think Andy's like, he just is loving the computer system and now he can turn half of the lights on the tractor and have half the lights off. And like, everybody question, everybody's like, Andy, why do you do that? So Andy, give us a, why do you do that? Because when I'm blowing straw one way, it puts light that way and it doesn't reflect the light onto the glass. There we go, simple answer. Reflections. Lights are outside like cab though. It still bounces off stuff, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> No, I'm mean, not getting started on this. <laughs> we not like he knows what he likes, yeah. and that's what he it likes. Works well. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. If you've liked it, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you're not already. New hoodies are in stock. Andy's new hoodies. Yeah, are in stock. Are in stock. Yeah. Where can you get them? Yeah, find them on Crazy Bull on Facebook. Yep. Um, get in um, contact with you that way. Yeah, get in contact with me, really. Yep. Yeah. And then Andy will sort it out from personal there because he's still experience. in the process of You get of that when you buy a dual seal stop, you get a personal experience. Um, well, yeah, it's fairly personal. I package it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Lucky it gets there. <laughs> well, we, we have had an issue actually yesterday. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, no, honestly, I'm good at packaging, I promise. And Becky's good at it as well. So um, put your orders in. And uh, yeah, we'd love it. Right, anyway, thanks. Anyway, we're bambling on. Are you waving, Ben, or have you fell to sleep? Stop. You're tired. Are you going to the pub tonight? Mm -hmm. We didn't get an invite, did we, Andy? No. No? Hey? Eh? Always expects me to invite him to a, to to a pub, but we never get an invite. You going to the posh one? Oh, yeah, he's got, of course, he has caviar. A drink and then probably a bar meal, isn't it? A, ba a bar meal? Oh, it's, it's a bit more than a bar meal there, isn't it? Well, yeah, I'm going to have a, I'm, uh, I've seen bars with chop up menu. What's that, like 30 quid? No. Well, it'll be 20 uh, It's not Weatherspoons, let me tell you that. Mm, no, it's yeah. better, isn't it? At least you're paying for something nice. You can't cook it at home better. Nothing! It, there ain't no wrong with Weatherspoons, are there? Apart from they didn't like us. Yeah, true. Filming. <laughs> it's, like, it's Weatherspoons food, though, isn't it? Well, yeah. It's We're going like to get simple. all like Weatherspoons Brigade on now. It's just this. Yeah, but that's what, I think value for money wise. Value for money it's alright, but. People buy loads of mug coffee as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, anyway, we're going. Bye. Bye. What do you think of Weatherspoons? Let us know. Bye. Mr. Pheasant's coming for his dinner.